Hello everybody and welcome back where today alongside the PSVR 2 review that we've got coming out today I wanted to talk about the new Battlefield news that has just dropped at this point in the game's life cycle and with news of the next game coming out it was expected that 2042 was going to lose support now for a bit of background I covered 2042 religiously for about over a year or so before I started really delving into VR and I do cover shooters and flat screen games you know a fair bit and over that time, I was rooting for 2042 because it was a fair bit of an underdog, uh, really, in terms of the Battlefield series. We felt like that over the last couple of games, to be honest, every time a new one came out, apart from Battlefield 1. For the last couple of years, it's been, you know, not that well received by the community. Then over time, it kind of finds its place. It's felt similar to 2042. But for me, I don't think it's quite found its place the same as 5 did. But the point is, for today, 2042 has been announced that they're no longer bringing any more content to the game after 7.2, which is when the Hourglass kind of rework comes uh, for the stadium. I would have liked a bigger bang for the game to go out on, to be honest. I am a little disappointed, um, but the content has really been a trickle, to be honest, over the last couple of months. So I'm not surprised, but I would have liked, you know, a bit more uh, of a kickstart to uh, the end of the game's life cycle than what we actually got. Anyway... Let's head into the statement from EA directly and talk about that. They state, when Battlefield 2042 launched, we promised to bring four seasons of content to the game. That's true. That's what they advertised when the game came out in the season bundle, essentially. That's all they were contractually obligated to make. And they say, as our seasons continued, the feedback we received made it clear your appetite for more 2042 remained strong. We took the opportunity to evolve the game to make it even better for you and continue to learn valuable lessons for our own developmental processes. Last month, we released the seventh season of 2042, Turning Point, which added an intense new urban map set in Chile, as well as several weapons and new gadget, and a revamped map based on the stadium location from Hourglass, two themed events, and a new weapon and vehicle to come. Again, want to reiterate the point, I wish the game could have gone out on a higher note than just an Hourglass kind of rework, but it is the situation we're in, and I think it's kind of going out with a fizzle rather than a, a bang, unfortunately, but... They go on to state, while we've enjoyed and are proud of creating these seasons of additional content for Battlefield 2042, it is now necessary for us to turn from the present to the future. What this ultimately means is that Season 7 will serve as the final season for 2042, and after it concludes, we'll continue to support the game with new in-game challenges, events, modes, and of course, ongoing maintenance. But we are moving away from delivering official seasons. Now, that sort of support... Once the game is dropped in terms of in-game challenges, I'm assuming will be like BF5 where your orders are kind of on a rotation a bit. They're randomized, but they'll be the same challenges. So the devs don't really have to worry about doing real new ones every week. Events as well, I'm assuming will just be recycled old ones. They're fun modes, but it's going to be nothing new. And ongoing maintenance is just what we expect, to be honest, from any sort of online game after content stops coming. We know this news may be disappointing. However, as we looked at what the future of the series required, it became clear it was time for us to shift our resources and focus to be fully dedicated to what comes next, assuming Battlefield 7 and the campaign that I'm a little worried about concerning Ridgeline Games and Marcus Leto leaving that company, but we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. As I mentioned in previous updates, we have an ambitious vision to embrace and unlock the vast potential of the series' class-based squad play and immersive intense battles. That is a good sign for me. Classes are coming back properly in the next entry, I assume, and they're focusing on immersion and intensity, which is exactly what we need. 2042, I think, was a good game. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't have dedicated a year of my life to covering it if I didn't enjoy it and think there was great potential there. But the baseline core mechanics and some baseline animations and the actual player controller, among other things, did not feel very grounded and gritty in points. And I'm excited to see how Battlefield 7 really covers that and improves it. They continue. To that end, Motive Studio, the talented developers known most recently for their work on the critically acclaimed remake of Dead Space and Star Wars Squadrons, are building a team focused on Battlefield at their studio. We're tremendously excited for Motive as they are bringing their expertise with Frostbite and compelling storytelling to the fold, joining DICE, Criterion and Ripple Effect in building a Battlefield universe connected across multiplayer experiences and single player. What's interesting there is that obviously they don't mention Ridgeline, which kind of sucks. We know that's been dissolved, that studio now. It's been absorbed by some of the other ones like Ripple Effect. Um, but it's just kind of, I don't know, it feels a little weird not having Ridgeline mentioned at all for all their hard work over the last couple of years. They're just kind of thrown out there a bit. Finally, they say Battlefield 2042 has been an important chapter of the series we all know and love, and your feedback has been important in helping us build this game into something special while also assisting us in laying the foundation for the future. 
Battlefield is an experience that is defined by the passion of its community as much as its team-driven tactics and explosive battles, and I look forward to the day that we can tell you more about what's coming next. I'm assuming this will be radio silence now for a good few months to a year, maybe something like that. And yeah, I'm really not sure about this whole announcement. I mean, I saw it coming, but it seems like it's going to be a bit of a dead zone between now and the next game. Best of luck to the team, though. I'm sure they're going to pull something good off uh, for the next title. And the fact that Motive are now working on the next game also gives me a bit of hope. They're a really, really good studio. But it also does feel a little bit sour hearing that the Battlefield team is expanding after they just shut down Ridgeline games because they didn't want to expand the team that much. It feels very, very strange. This whole thing also kind of puts it into perspective uh, for me as a creative as well, um, because I know a lot of other Battlefield creators out there who kind of don't put their entire livelihood on this game, but do make income from it. They make revenue from it in terms of content creation and videos. Um, and it's just... I can't imagine what an announcement like this is like when you rely on a game to generate a community and an audience and to keep interest, especially for this big 1.5 year gap, potentially until the next release, to try and keep people interested with 2042 and with speculation about the next game. That's got to be incredibly tough. Luckily, we've built an incredible VR community here since I started doing Battlefield, even though there are a couple of people still here to enjoy the Battlefield content and flat screen content, which... I'm massively appreciative of but without that i'd be in the same position and i just feel for the creators who are now kind of stuck without anything to talk about that bit of perspective is all i've really got to say about that so i, I really feel for the other creators who who are now going to struggle for a bit of content i'm very mixed on this news is my final point really it's been slow since the launch really in terms of content but at least there was something new every couple of months for the new seasons and now there's gonna be nothing for the best part of maybe two years and ultimately, I am just a little deflated by hearing all of this. This is probably the last time I'll ever speak about Battlefield 2042 in a video, so I will just say that the game was very enjoyable. I put almost a thousand hours into it, and if it wasn't fun, then I wouldn't have done so. I am disappointed that this is where we've ended up, but I can't say I'm surprised, and I wish the Battlefield team all the best for the next title. I will be there, I will be playing, and I will be excited. I'll be caught up in that hype train again, and hopefully we're ending up with a good product at launch next time. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons as well, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hasit Mirza, and Ace Gamer. If you want to join the Patreon or YouTube membership, the links are in the description below. If you want to join the Discord, the links are also down below as well. I look forward to delivering more VR content for you guys to enjoy in the future, and a bit of flat screen here and there as well. So thank you for joining me today in covering this kind of depressing news. But again, thank you all, and I'll see you in the next one.